Hello, I'm back with a new video and in this one we'll talk about different options you have for storage devices and virtual machine manager. When creating a virtual machine, you have two options to start with. You can either go with an emulated drive like this one or you can add a controller, be it a SATA controller or an NVMe drive. In this video, we will start with an emulated drive. By default, you'll see that these emulated virtual disks are SATA drives, and you can change that to SCSI, USB, or VertIO. For best performance, it is recommended to use VertIO. In addition, you have more performance options right here, but I would just leave them on default. Later in this video, we'll take a look at some differences between these different performance options. To get started with installing Windows onto a VertIO drive, you will need to download a driver disk. And I'll leave the link in the video description. Right here, scroll down and download either the stable or latest Windows VertIO. I downloaded the stable ones. Okay, we will have to add hardware. CD-ROM drive and we will choose our VertIO disk. Finish and let's save this, apply. Next we'll go to boot menu, unselect VertIO disk, select the SATA CD-ROM 1 with our windows on it and enable boot menu. Apply and we'll hit begin installation and as soon as our screen comes up, click on it and start pressing F2. We want to get into the BIOS, that's why we are pressing the F2. And let's go to Device Manager, Secure Boot Configuration, and unselect Attempt Secure Boot. Spacebar, Enter, Escape, Escape one more time, Boot Manager, and Boot from the CD-ROM drive. Hit Enter. Enter again, it will proceed to reboot. And as soon as it asks you to, press some key. Any random key, and we'll boot into Windows. And when you get here, you won't see any drive. So what you'll need to do is load drivers, and you'll load them from the disk you just inserted. Browse this disk, and you can do VIO store and select Windows 10, AMD64, and next. And your drive appears. We can create a new drive and install our Windows right there. So that's how you install Windows onto a VertIO drive. Now let's take a look at some performance differences. All of the following benchmarks are performed on a solid state SATA drive, so Keep that in mind when looking at the performance numbers. So first, we'll benchmark this SATA drive with caching set to none. And you can pause the video if you want to analyze the results. And let's briefly compare it to bare metal performance right here. Okay, now let's benchmark this drive. A vert IO drive, again with caching disabled especially the random reads and writes are better. Now let's uh, take a look at another SATA drive and this time with default cache mode. Okay, and lastly, let's take a look at VertIO drive with uh, caching set to default. So the numbers do look better, but if we increase the read and write size to 16 gigabytes, they will go down because the cache simply isn't large enough. Out of these four modes, VertIO performs the best, and the only downside is that you have to load the driver when you are installing Windows. 
So if you decide to use an image-based virtual disk, go with Vert.io. That's the verdict. Next, let's look at some other, maybe even better options. Another option we have is adding a whole partition to our virtual machine. So we can do that by add hardware, storage, select or create custom storage, and dev SDA, for example. Or you can do any drive you want. Disk type, we can leave it on disk device and then either do SATA or Vert.io, again, same idea, or just to kind of change things up, I'll do LUN, pass through, it stands for logical unit, and it's generally meant for uh, more complex systems, but we can try it here. Advanced options are again the same, and we'll leave it on default. So we'll hit finish, and boot options will boot from CD-ROM1, apply and when we start our virtual machine if you haven't done it already uh, disable secure boot again as I have shown earlier because those drivers aren't signed okay let's start the virtual machine again we don't have any drives available so load driver browse vertio and vio SCSI and Windows 10, AMD64. Okay, and we can benchmark this drive. Okay, so we see the results. Very close to actual SATA performance, not as astronomical as some of the other numbers we've seen with our previous tests, but uh, when compared to bare metal, very respectable, I would say, and definitely usable. So that's another option you have, using a, an entire partition of a hard drive. And in this case, we used LUN, and let's take a look at something else now. To get started with the SATA controller pass-through or NVMe drive pass through, you have to enable IOMMU on in Grub. If you have already done GPU pass through, then that part is done. But if you haven't, let's do it. So we'll open our terminal, become a super user, type in nano etc default Grub. And at least, at the very least, you need this. If you are on Intel, Intel, IOMMU. If you are on AMD, AMD, IOMMU equals on. Control O, Control X, update grub, and reboot. To pass through an NVMe drive, let's open our terminal and let's make sure the device we want to attached to the virtual machine is in its own IOMMU group. To do that, we'll use IOMMU Viewer, and I'll leave the link in the video description. So let's go there. I already downloaded it. Downloads, IOMMU Viewer, and let's make it executable, and let's run it. Okay, and we'll be using this Samsung drive, which is in group 15 alone, nothing else. Perfect. And also later we can use this SATA controller for another drive. So let's get started. Our virtual machine is here. We'll add PCI device and we'll find our Samsung NVMe drive right here. Finish. Let's make it, well, let's make the CD-ROM the primary boot device, apply. Let's start the virtual machine. The good thing about pass-through is that you generally don't need to deal with any drivers. It should just work most of the time. 
And now we can benchmark this NVMe drive and see what results we get. Okay, so we can see the results. They look pretty decent. There's nothing not to like. So let's shut this down and let's add another drive. Let's add the SATA drive we were using earlier. Okay, we go here and we already made sure that the SATA drive is, is in its own IOMMU group. So PCI host device and I know it's this controller. That's what the SATA drive is attached to. Okay, we still boot from the same PCI Express drive. We'll just use it as a secondary drive. So let's start the machine. Okay, so here we are, and our drive shows up as E drive. If it didn't show up, we might have to go to disk management and add it. But since we are here and the drive works, let's benchmark it. Change to E and run the benchmark. So pass through gives us pretty good performance. Again, pretty close to bare metal. If uh, you don't want to deal with uh, the hassle of enabling it in Grub, you can always use Vert.io or any of the other options we went over today. But my preferred way of doing it is Vert.io and pass-through. That's that for storage and virtual machine manager. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.